My name is Jesse Peterson. I'm from Maydock, Ontario, Canada. I've been living in Vietnam for eight years. Currently, I live in Ho Chi Minh City, which is a really busy city. Sometimes miss the tranquility of the countryside. Surely you remember our Canadian friend and his trip to Dong Nai, where he enjoys special dishes from the mangrove forests of Ganzhou. For delicious dishes like sour mussel soup, roasted tamarind crab, and octopus with vinegar, Jesse had to work all day in the mud under the bright sun. But Jesse then had a chance to enjoy the cool air of Vinh Thanh, land of nipa palms, and take sweet coconut soup. Today, we will go with Jesse on his trip to Dong Noi Culture and Nature Reserve to enjoy more new dishes. A new day starts on Chi An Lake. In the morning mist, Chi An Lake appears like a vast blue ocean. This peaceful scene of nature makes you forget the fatigue and noise of the city. Chi An Lake is a man made lake located on the Dong Nai River. It has a volume of over 2,500 cubic kilometers and a surface area of over 300 square kilometers. A big lake with 40 small islands, Xi'an is a popular destination for tourists in the province and surrounding area. Today, for the first time, Jesse experiences the feeling of floating on Xi'an Lake before dawn. Here, the scene is immense and poetic. I went on a boat from one end to the other and it's like you're on the ocean. It's huge! It's a man-made lake. They cut open a, a river and let it um, flood the whole area. It's monstrous. Of course, they have a lot of different kinds of habitats and, and economies, and uh, the, the villages there, a different kind of, of living. At dawn, boys rush to pull in their nest for the morning market. At this beautiful and bustling time, the fish market fills with boats. Jesse does not miss the chance to take photos of fishing life on the lake. In the rainy season, Chi'an Lake has many fish. The most popular are small fish like anchovies and half beaks, or large fish like catfish, peacock bass, and snakehead. về thủy sản thì trên hồ này có những cái loại cá mà chế biến thành cái những cái món ăn rất là ngon à, mà chỉ có đặc hữu ở khu vực hồ Chi An sông Đồng Nai mới có ví dụ như là con cá leo, con cá lăng, à, con cá chép đó là những cái loại cá lớn mà người ta có thể chế biến rất là nhiều món ăn còn những cái loại cá nhỏ mà cũng là cũng là đặc sản ở tại hồ này có con con cá kiềm nó đi khai thác về thì người ta xẻ ra làm khô cái hương vị mà lúc mà mình Mình phơi khô xong rồi mình, mình, mình chế biến món ăn, đó, đó rất là thơm ngon. Due to favorable natural conditions and quick reproduction, half big thrive in Chi'an Lake. Half big season lasts from the 10th to the third lunar month next year. Because so many half bigs are caught, it is common to dry and preserve them. The fish can be given as gifts to family and friends. So, right now, these fine ladies have offered me to uh, help them to make dried fish. Um, it's 180,000 for a kilogram. I don't know if that's, I think that's a good price. I don't really know. 
So I'm going to sit down and help them. They said I can eat it, but I have to sit on this chair from morning until night, which is too long for me. So maybe I will just help them and eat somewhere else. Fresh hot beaks are filleted. The head, tail, and organs are removed. It is cut in half, washed, and then dried. The fish is marinated with spices, salt, sugar, and chili. The flavor of the mixture depends on the recipe and experience of each person. For attractive and quality dry fish, they are marinated the night before, then arranged in rows on flat screens. Hard beaks are meaty with few bones. After a day in the sun, they are ready to sell. Nước mưa thì sao? Mưa thì mình bỏ vô tủ lạnh. Như vậy thì chỉ phải ngồi đây suốt ngày để kiểm tra không có mưa phải không? Yeah. Ở đây có hay mưa không? Mưa như tháng này cũng mưa rồi đó. Chỉ cần làm cái này mỗi ngày à? Yeah, mỗi ngày. ngày. Bình thường có người, nhiều người đi giúp chị không? Như em. Thì hôm nay cũng tốt phải không chị? Có em ở đây giúp chị. Không. Ở đây bán đắt lắm, không có kịp cá bán đâu, cô bán được đâu. Every day, this fish business buys 100 kilograms of fresh fish, then hires local workers to fill it and dry them. The marinating is done by the owners themselves to ensure quality and protect the recipe. The fish are dried on screens in the sun from 9 to 14 hours, then brought in and packaged. After drying, 4 to 5 kilograms of fresh fish produces just 1 kilogram of dried product. Dried hard beaks can be kept in the freezer for six months to a year. Chi'an Lake is home to over 1,000 households engaged in fishing. Every day after fishing on the lake, women clean and patch the nets. Children spend their days off from school helping parents. In 1993, this woman's family came from Cambodia and settled at the lake. Today, the family harvested 100 kilograms of anchovies and sold them for 35 US dollars. <coughs> This fishing village is beside the lake. The simple and makeshift houses are convenient for washing fish cages. To avoid damage from overfishing, Dong Lai Culture and Nature Reserve has instructed locals to practice fish farming. Ở đây là nuôi cá gì? Đây là họ nuôi cá lăng, cá lóc. Thường thường là họ nuôi khoảng tầm khoảng từ 1 cho đến 3 kg là họ à. bán. Bán, bán cho rồi. nhà hàng thì họ nuôi khoảng 3 kg, còn bán cho thương lái người ta mua để người ta chở đi các tỉnh khác thì khoảng chừng ký rưỡi là, là họ bán. Xung quanh ở khu này thì nhiều cá, tại vì người ta nuôi cá bẻ ở đây nè, rồi thức ăn nó dư, rồi cá tự nhiên ở ngoài nó cập cập sát đây để, à, để ăn cho nên mấy khu này đó. mình câu được. <cười> <cười> Bùi à. xung quanh đây rất là nhiều, mình có thể mình mình dùng lưới hoặc mình câu được. Bạn có muốn thử câu thử? <cười> yes, ok, just use that moon. So... Now I'm gonna go fishing and try to catch uh, uh, a whale, a cowboy. No, not a whale. <laughs> Come up, is he not? Okay. Mỗi này là gì anh? Cái này là mồi cá cơm. Cá cơm. Có thể sử dụng để họ câu cá lăng, câu cá lóc. À. Những cái loài cá mà ăn động vật, ăn cá con thì nó sẽ dùng cái mồi này câu được. À vậy. Phước instructs Jesse how to use anchovy to catch catfish. Once the line is lowered, the two wait and talk. During this time, Jesse's eyes do not leave the small yellow float on the water. Half an hour, then an hour passes, but the float does not move. Can't catch any fish. Oh, hot rồi. Nó bị trốn rồi, bị cướp rồi. Oh, I got something. Oh, no, it's nothing. Mắc rồi, mắc rồi. 
Son of a bass. There's no fish on here. All right, get a new one. I got one, okay, get the net. Oh, it's so big. Oh, get it. It's big. It's a giant friggin' shark. Holy Jesus Christ. Look at the size of it. Can I bound you a kilo already? Can I just one or two kilos? Whoa, get the net. It's gonna get away. Wow. Whoa, look at this son of a... See? So I forget what it is, but it's a face of a, of a fighter. All right, it was trying to fight me, and it lose. And now you're my dinner, okay? Well, you look kind of cute, though. I don't want to eat you, but you're, I'm so happy that we can meet together like this. Giờ mình chế biến thôi. Okay. Nướng ăn nướng. Nướng rồi hoặc là kho nấu canh nấu canh chua. Okay. Lẩu. Catfish is a famous specialty of Chi'an Lake. It is known for its taste and health benefits. The fattest way to cook catfish is in sour soup with bamboo shoots. Sour catfish soup with bamboo shoots needs some chili and pineapple. While waiting for the sour catfish soup, Jesse tries his hand at another treat and specialty, half big salad. First, the dried half big is fried. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. Whoa! Oh, it was really good. I'm hungry, so that makes it better. <laughs> um, so apparently this is the, the special food, like the special cuisine, just in this area. And it's about $15 for a kilogram. Hmm. So they're really different flavors. This one is very sour and this one is the sweet and the oily crispy fish so we're going to mix them together so let's take them outside and mix them on nice of net fishing sometimes fishermen catch batches of tiny shrimp fried shrimp with onions is simple yet subtle the firm shrimp with fragrant onions and garlic form an attractive dish. The team of Dong Nai Culture and Nature Reserve have a special ingredient for this shrimp dish. It is different leaves taken from Mada Forest. So first you take the, once you've fried it, you take this fish and you break it in half like this. I've done it already for the whole plate. Next, the mango type fruit, you dice it in long slices like this all right okay so the next part that we're going to do the final preparation take the two dishes okay i'm going to mix the the fried fish into this one here and then mix it together so hopefully we're going to take the the kind of sour taste of the underripe mango and the sweet fried taste of the golden fried uh, fish and we'll make a new a different kind of monster flavor together awesome oh, <laughs> 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 This is the first time Jesse has made half big salad. He is eager for Fook's opinion. I think em làm có được không? Well, oh, thank you. Lần đầu tiên em làm đó. Vị này ăn ngọt, thanh, có vị chua chua của cốc, vị thơm, vị béo của cá. Ăn mới vừa xào, Mời bạn sử dụng món này là chúng ta sử dụng cái rau này Còn thêm những cái loại rau này mình bỏ vô Múc tép ở đây chúng ta cuốn lại Ok Cuốn lại không chấm vào đây Alright Ok 
Locusts have transformed a simple dish like fried shrimp into a specialty. So you take the little baby shrimps. All of this food, especially these these leaves, come from here. Uh, the fish comes from the lake, and these leaves or, or vegetables they come from the forest nearby. So all the food is naturally from here. Uh, but as you can see, I can't make it as beautiful as he does. Fish soup is familiar to many people. A sour soup with catfish from Chi'an Lake is a radish enjoyed by only a few. Thanks to the natural environment, the meat of catfish is firm, sweet and tender when cooked, with no fishy taste. Wow, it's very tender. The meat, the fish is... It's a big fish, as you saw before, very big. But the meat is very, very tender. Wait, wait, I know how to do this. The fish is <laughs> cá xì bắt là ăn ngon hơn cá mua ngoài chợ. Yeah. <laughs> Do công lao động mình Thank trực tiếp mình dựng lên mà. If you have the chance to visit Chi'an Lake, besides the beautiful scenery, you should visit Ma Da Forest in Dong Lai Culture and Nature Reserve. The reserve has a total natural area of over 100,000 hectares, including 68,000 hectares of forest and 32,000 hectares of water from Chi'an Lake. Ma Da Forest is home to a variety of fauna and flora and a unique natural forest system. Visitors are attracted not only by the wilderness but also by the specialty foods. I'm in the Cultural and Natural Reserve in Dom Nai, and it is a vast forest. I'm here with Jun Yan, and he's going to show me how to collect a lot of forest ingredients and how to cook it. Nhân leads Jesse deep into the forest to get bamboo. In his first visit to Mada Forest, Jesse is curious about his surroundings, from centuries-old trees to giant termite mounds. Đặc điểm là trong những cái ủ mối này là khi vào những cái đầu cái mùa mưa, đặc biệt là khoảng tháng ba tháng tư âm lịch của Việt Nam á, thì xung quanh đây nó thường xuất hiện những cái loài nấm, ta gọi là cái nấm mối. As a veteran of Dong Nai Culture and Nature Reserve, Nhân gives Jesse valuable trekking advice. For those who are feeling tired or thirsty, some plants like Dratton contain drinkable water. Ngoài ra là cái sử dụng nước uống này thì cái đỏ của nó để mình dùng làm cái thức ăn trong rừng. Có thể mình dùng để mình nướng, mình chấm với muối ớt, mình ăn rất là ngon. Here, the green of the forest is overwhelming. Traveling deeper, the songs of birds become clear, inviting their human guests. Experienced people like Nhân know which plants can be eaten and which cannot. According to Nhân, to experience life in the forest, you just need to bring rice for a good meal. You do not even need to bring a pot to cook it. Đây là cái cây lầu ô, mà đây là một cái vật dụng để mình nấu cơm lam. Khi mà nấu xong cái hương vị nó rất là thơm ngon là do cái hương vị của cây cây lầu ô. hiểu rồi. Some ethnic minorities in Vietnam, besides using bamboo for musical instruments, also use bamboo tubes to cook foods like rice and vegetable soups. Bamboo used for cooking is chosen carefully. 
The plants must be neither too old nor too young. The sections must be long, straight and wide in order to hold many ingredients. So one bamboo tree like this is about 20 meters long. And if you cut it all, you can cook for the, the whole village around here. In Mada Forest, there are over 40 kinds of edible plants such as drag leaf, fayayo, passion flower, moringa, bitter melon, and custard apple. Some vegetables are not only delicious but are also a precious folk medicine. Yeah, when I met that guy, it reminded me when I was studying like the, there's seven different types of intelligences. And one of the intelligence is about identifying different kinds of plants and animals in the forest. That's something that we've lost. We're not using it anymore. But Chunyan, he's still got it. Because especially here in this environment, this tropical environment, there's so many varieties of leaves and trees and, and plants and, and flora and fauna. He is telling me, please come back, Jesse. I'll take you to the forest. You don't need anything. You, you can cut the the leaves to make a house. He showed me very clearly that you can just like walk five meters and eat something, right? It's all there. And generally, we're, we're like we're blind. We're walking through the forest. We don't see any food there. We just see, it's, oh, there's mosquitoes and there's big trees. But Junyan, his brain is different, okay? He's got some special glasses. He can walk in and he sees it's like, oh, this leaf is, um, I don't know, it's sweet and sour. Let's eat it. Let's mix it with this, oh, let's pick this fish up and eat it. In my opinion, he's an awesome, awesome tour guide. I really like him. This is uh, the baby bamboo shoot. And I guess it's the, when the bamboo is only this tall, and then they cut it. And then I, you take off this outer part, like this, and then you boil it and it will be small. When it's small like this, you boil this. And it's delicious. I love it. I eat this one all the time. It's afternoon okay. oh. in the forest and it starts to get dark. The team of Dong Nai Culture and Nature Reserve built a small stove from tree branches. Before, Jesse lived in Canada, where there are also large forests, so this work is quite familiar to him. This place reminds me of home because when I'm small, I'm out in the forest every day. You also need to know how to live out there because for one, it's cold in Canada, right? And so you, if you don't know how to adapt to, to where I'm living, you, you will die, actually. And of course, being in the environment we were in yesterday, where you can see that they have everything that they need, and those, the people living there, have also adapted to their environment. So that gives me kind of a, even though it's two ex very polar opposite kind of environments, it still shows that the people adapting to, li to live peacefully within their different environments. A warm fire in the afternoon forest can help you relax after a long walk. Wild vegetables gathered throughout the day will be used for dinner. Jesse, yeah. Hôm nay chúng ta có thêm món cá suối. Wow, chua ơi, chua bát ở đâu? Ở dưới suối thôi. Ờ vậy à? Nhiều thế? À, cái gì cá gì chú? À, cá này là cá lăng. Cá lăng. À, nó là cái cá đó dưới suối đặc điểm của cá lăng này là cái thịt nó rất là dai, mà nó béo rất là ngon. Okay. 
À, bây giờ thì nấu như thế nào? Bây giờ mình lấy cây Cây sao mình nướng thôi Chứ trong đây thì cái điều kiện không có thì mình sẽ nướng Ok And then I guess With vegetable and fish, all that's left now is rice. Nyan instructs Jesse how to put rice and water in the bamboo to cook it. So I've got a complete meal here. I've got the baby bamboo shoots, which are delicious. Thank you to Chunyan. We've got our barbecue fish here, which is almost finished. It cooks really fast, so you have to keep turning the stick over the fire. Uh, not too long, maybe like less than five minutes. And of course we have our rice inside the bamboo shoots. That one's probably gonna take half an hour because the fire needs to be bigger. While the food is cooking, Jesse uses this time to rest in a hammock. Bye. Wakes up when the smell of grilled fish and bamboo rice fills the air. From my experience from this trip, it's very clear. It's about sustainable living. Just eating naturally from your habitat. It's healthy for you and it, it's good for the environment. And not mixing it with sugar and, and all these additives. And, and especially now in, in Vietnam, chemicals and preservatives and pesticides. Those things are really terrible. It's changing like our body, our, our hormones are going down a lot, our testosterone is going a lot, and it's making us very weak and sick. Even me, who are, I'm, I'm pretty aware of this stuff, I need to be more balanced with nature and with the diet and the things that I eat. Đứng dây đứng đứng gì em? Chỉ chớp chớp thôi em ơi. <cười> 